Hello everyone. Last time we talked about the glottal sounds. If you missed this lesson, make sure you check it out before you proceed. You're going to find the link in the description. And today we're going to talk about the pharyngeal sounds. The pharyngeal sounds come from two Arabic letters. They are the ha and ayn. These two are among the distinctive sounds that, uh, that make Arabic a unique language because they're not really found in any other language, with the exception of maybe the Somali language. Ha and Ain come from almost the same position. They come from the back of your mouth. And the trick to control them and produce the sounds is controlling your muscle of epiglottis. Once you control that, you will be able to produce these sounds with ease. We'll start with the easier one of them. That is the ha sound. Ha is produced by taking this part of your mouth, we call it the epiglottis, backwards. When this happens, your tongue you will slide itself backwards. Remember, your tongue is in a completely relaxed position. You're not going to deliberately take it backwards. You're not going to roll it back or anything. You're just going to leave it as relaxed as possible. And when you push your epiglottis backwards, the, the, the muscle of the, the tongue will automatically slide itself backwards. When this happens, there will be a gap forming between the wall of your mouth and the epiglottis. This gap, when you try to force air through it, the friction will cause the sound to be produced. If you're still not sure how you produce the sound, you have probably made this motion before while you were trying to wipe your glasses or if you're not wearing glasses, then maybe you were trying to uh, shine a mirror or wipe it. This motion isn't 100% the ha that we're looking for, but it's surely a good place to start. Remember that ha is not the same as ha sound. The ha sound, like we talked about last time, is produced much deeper in your throat in or through your glottis by opening your vocal folds completely and letting the, the stream of air go out. There's no friction whatsoever and that's why it's produced much easier. So ha is different from ha. Ha, there is friction. This, uh, uh, this is not the same as ha sound. Here are some examples to show you how the ha comes in a word. So I want you to notice how the position of the tongue is and uh, I want you to notice that it is completely relaxed. Hulm. Hulm. Ahmed. Ahmed. Samah. Samah. All right, so now we're going to talk about the A ah sound. And the A ah sound is a little bit trickier, but still the exact same position used for the A ah sound. The only difference is that you take this part of your mouth even further backwards. The epiglottis, you're going to take it a little bit backwards to the point when air can no longer stream through the gap. Air being trapped at this point will produce the ah sound. So you could also say that the ah sound is a little bit of an exaggerated version of the ha sound. So when you press and go back even, even further backwards with your ha sound, it will automatically produce the ah sound. So if you start like ha, you notice how pressing backwards, even further backwards, will trap the air and it will produce the ah sound. All right, it's time for some practice. And this time we'll be using some minimal pairs to help you train your epiglottis and give control over this muscle. Because once you get hold of this muscle and you can use it and control it, you'll be able to produce the ha and ah sound without any problems. Minimal pairs, for those who don't know what it means, it is a set of words that look almost like each other with an exception of a very minor change. So there will be two words that look almost the same, but a very minor or small change between the two words. Now, as you do every time, I will give you some time to try to pronounce this on your own. Then I will pronounce them now for you to compare between what you've done and what 
I have done. Hali Ali Lahn Lahn Karh Karra Remember the ha and a are almost the exact same motion. The a is a little bit exaggerated. You're pushing a little bit backwards and you will get there. So start by practicing ha first. Once you get there, start practicing a. It's not going to happen the other way around. It has to happen in this order. So this is going to be the end of this lesson, everyone. Thanks for watching. And if you like the video or learn anything from it, Please subscribe, like, and share the video for other people to learn from it. Thanks for watching one more time, and see you next time. Salam.